Is it once again movie night or that weekly get together with your friends and you're looking for some finger foods that are keto friendly, that are sure to please everyone? Well, these jalapeno poppers are the answer. So let's make them. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your jalapeno pepper and cut it down the middle lengthwise. And make sure that you're just pulling the stem off and that you're not cutting the end off. That way your cream cheese will stay inside and not run out. Now go ahead and take your knife and cut along the stem, making sure again that you don't cut it out. And then go ahead and cut the ribs and the seeds out from the center of your jalapeno. Uh, if you want it a little bit hotter, go ahead and leave some of them seeds in there. But I'm just going to take them out. Now once you've taken all the seeds out, go ahead and season with some salt and some pepper. And then go ahead and set them aside. Now in a bowl, you wanna add three ounces of softened cream cheese. To that, you're gonna add 28 ounces of shredded cheddar cheese and one tablespoon of bacon bits. And then you're just gonna wanna thoroughly combine all of them. Now go ahead and take your cream cheese mixture and then proceed to fill your jalapenos with it. Making sure that you get it all down in there and fill it nice and full. And once you're done filling them all, go ahead and stick them in the refrigerator to set up while you're starting to make your breading station. Now in a bowl, you're gonna to wanna to add one half cup of crushed or ground pork rinds, a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of dried parsley and one half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Then go ahead and take your fork and break up any clumps and mix it thoroughly. Then in a separate bowl, you're gonna to want to beat together two eggs and one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. And go ahead and just take your fork and mix them really good until they're nice and fluffy. Now what we wanna do is take our filled jalapeno, dip it in the egg wash, and then roll it around in our breadcrumb mixture and shake off any excess. Then you go on just continue to do that until all of your jalapenos are breaded. And once all of your jalapenos are breaded, we're not done yet because it's time to double dip. We're gonna take our already breaded jalapenos and we're gonna throw them back in the egg wash and then roll them around again in our uh, breadcrumb mixture that way we get a really nice thick coating on it now while those are setting up you're going to want to take your air fryer and we're going to set it for two minutes at 350 degrees to warm it up Just keep in mind when it comes to jalapenos, the longer you cook them, the
the more mild they're gonna be. So if you like them hot, cook them a little less. If you like them a little more mild, then just cook them a little bit more. Now once your air fryer is preheated, we're gonna take some nonstick cooking spray and make sure that you coat it thoroughly. Then carefully place your jalapeno poppers into the fryer, giving them a little bit of space and make sure that you set them in gently. That way you don't knock off any of the breading that we've put on there. Now go ahead and put the basket back in and set it for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. I put mine in for 10 minutes because I like mine a little bit spicier. Now once your time is done, go ahead and remove the basket from the air fryer and taking a pair of plastic tongs, you're gonna take your jalapeno poppers and you're gonna very gently move them around trying to break them free from the bottom so that way you're not removing the breading from the bottom of it. And there you have it, beautiful keto-friendly jalapeno poppers. Okay, I just took out the poppers and they smell amazing. But the important thing is how they taste. So let's give that a try. Oh yeah, still very crunchy, nice and creamy and cheesy. Now you can dip these in marinara, uh, ranch, if you have like a raspberry jam or something, that would be really good. I might have to do a res recipe on that, a sugar-free version, but regardless, I mean, you can eat these without. And they're just amazing. You got that bacon, that cheese, the cream cheese really good so if you like this recipe comment down below and while you're there subscribe for more recipes just like this one so thank you for joining me stay awesome and i'll see you soon